Hello, we're learning to play the clarinet one part of Baba Tandaza. Before you learn this to play on your clarinet, have a look at the singing video where Graham and Matt talk you through learning to sing the song and this will really help you with the rhythms in this piece. Um, so we're going to have a look at section one, so make sure you've got your music printed or downloaded um, and you'll need the backing track for when you want to record this piece. So section one, we start on an E and notice that we've got three sharps, F sharp, C sharp and G sharp in this piece. And there's a G sharp coming up in this very first phrase. So the first bit sounds like this. E, A, 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 B, G, sh, A. OK, so to help you get around those notes, it will help if you can roll up to the A and keep your fingers close to the keys to help you get around those different notes. So I'm going to play it. Join in if you want or listen if you prefer. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Now you might have noticed that I had my right hand fingers down when I was playing the A's. That just makes it a bit easier to make the switch to B and it also helps the A's to sound nicer. So if you want to, you could do that too. This time, see if you can join in with me. So ready with your E, I'll count three in and a one, two, three. <laughs> Then the next phrase is exactly the same. Remember you can pause the video at any time to practice what we've done so far and if you need to take it a bit slower that's fine. When we get to the middle of line two we've got the words un game tan da zo and we need to start up on our C sharp. Now because we've got C sharps and B's we need to alternate our rights and lefts so I'm using this C sharp with my right hand and my left hand B. Okay, you can do it the other way around if you prefer. Um, so we've got C, 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 D, B, C, C. Okay, shall we have a go at playing that bit? Find your C sharp after three, four, one. A three, four, one. And then the next bit is the same rhythm but different notes. A, 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 B, G, C, A. So let's try playing that next bit. This is starting on the last bar of the second line with our A. Uh, three, four, one. So let's try putting those two bits together. So from the middle of line two, un me, starting on our C sharp, after three, four, one, and three, four, one. same phrase happens again and we've finished section one. Notice that the style is quite lively and the note there are some rests and um, so we need to make sure that we're not playing into the rests to keep with that style. So if you need to practice any of that pause now and then we're going to try playing the whole of section one not too fast. Bum, 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 bum about that tempo. So I'll count you three in and a one, two, three. And if you look at section two now, this is where there's a call and response. And if you've done the singing video, you'll know how this goes. We only play on the response. So you'll hear on the backing track a trumpet playing the ooh mama ba da la bit. And we join in on ba ba tan da za. So you'll hear da 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 Okay, so do you want to join in with that this time? We need a, A, B, G, sh, A. So I'll sing the call. Ooh, mama, ba, gu, da, la. Do, 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 do. And again. Ooh, mama, ba, gu, da, la. Do, 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 do. That's the first line of section two learnt. Stop the video to practice if you want to. Then the rest of section two 
is exactly the same as the last part of section one. C C C D B C A A A B G A C C C D B C A A A B G A. So we've been through the whole piece. Let's try playing section two together. Um, I'll count you in. Um, I'll, I'll do the. In fact, I'll do the call. Ooh, mama, ba, goo, da, la. And again. Ooh, mama, ba, goo, da, la. Okay, so that's section two. Now, um, when you come to record this, the backing track is quite a bit faster. It's about this tempo. Bum, 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 bum. So before you try and record, have a really good practice, nice and slow, make sure you're confident, gradually increase the tempo until you can play it at the speed of the backing track, and then have fun recording yourself. Enjoy. Bye-bye.